Okay, this is the rig I just put together last night for my camera. I have a Foscam pan and tilt camera. This is a FI 8918W. Um, and what I did, I don't have Ethernet out of my garage, so I got a TP Link uh, power line to Ethernet converter plugged into an outlet I just put up here. And that also is where I'm putting the power supply for the camera. So this is connecting my camera to Ethernet for the home, uh, which is going to be a lot better performing than uh, trying to use Wi-Fi. And uh, anyway, that's got a, a view of my shed. And it's also got a view of my garage. So let's go inside. All right, so here's my touch screen in the kitchen. And what I did was uh, I whipped together a little screen for the camera. And I use the Foscam preset. So to get to the screen, I'm just touching my finger on the icon for the garage. There is the screen. Notice I have a couple of uh, got a couple of buttons on there. One for garage and one for shed. And what these are doing is sending a command to the Foscam camera that will go specifically to a preset. So I adjusted the camera, put it on the, the garage area and set that as a preset, then I set another preset for the shed. So if I click on Garage now, it'll advance the camera to that preset. So there's my garage view. Takes a few seconds for the uh, sensor and the camera to adjust. And then I can also hit the Shed button, and that'll go right back to where it started from. Now, one thing I can do in HS Touch is, well, in, in HS3, in my home troller, I can send a command that'll simulate a button press. So if I have motion sensed in the shed, I can simulate a button press on that shed button, and that'll turn the camera over to the shed. If I have motion sensed or one of the garage doors opened in the garage, then that'll simulate a button push on the garage button, and that'll take me right back over to the uh, garage view. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, wanted to show it to you.